Hello and welcome to June. This is Steve Schuff coming to you on behalf of Beldemore Group at Keller Williams Louisville East. Uh, wanted to give you an idea of what to expect for the th next 30 days in real estate. Next month, we're gonna have our quarter review coming out. Uh, and the best way to know where we're going for the next 30 days is to understand where we've been. Uh, so let's take a look briefly at what's happened here over the last month. Um, this chart right here is where I wanna draw your attention. Uh, between April and May, we had a slight increase, this red line right here, slight increase in new listings that came on, uh, but a little bit more significant than that, this blue line is the number of properties that went under contract. So we had a slightly more increase of buyers that went under contract, properties that went under contract versus the new listings that came on. That's important to know because June's gonna be a different story. Uh, if we go back in time here and look at this portion of 2021, May to June is this first segment right here. This is a significant significant increase of about 500. So what we can expect, and we don't know to exactly what extent yet, what we can expect is uh, between now and the end of June, we are going to see a dramatic increase, probably the biggest increase that we'll see all year of the number of new listings that are coming on the market. Um, what I also predict to see, and this is taken from the last quarter or the middle of last year and the first part here, is that buyer, um, buyer activity, properties under contract are going to be stable. So supply and demand is going to take uh, some, uh, have some effect here. We're going to have more new listings coming on and the sales are going to be somewhat flat. So what that means for you if you're thinking about buying is that you will have more options. We're seeing this right now on a daily basis. More listings are coming on the MLS, more properties are showing up for sale. So as a buyer, you're gonna have more options. What this means for you as a seller, if you're considering selling here in the next 30 days or going active, um, is that there's gonna be a little bit more competition. But what I'm about to show you is very significant. Um, let's kick over to what we've looked at here over the last month as far as that list to sale price. So people that listed and sold their home, this is on the sell, sale side, are getting on average 100.6% of their list price. A lot of factors come into this competition. Are you pricing it right to begin with? Are you pricing it aggressively? So what we've seen over the previous month um, between March and April is that that average list to sale price was 106 Between April and May, slightly different story. We've seen almost a, a, a half a percent increase. It's taken up to 101%. So all that being said, even though there are more listings coming on the market, what this tells us is that uh, it is still competitive and uh, sellers are able to get the price that they're looking for and then some in most cases. Um, as far as days on market, they're a little bit longer than what you might expect. They're currently for the last month, 18 days. Uh, the previous month was at 19 days. But this is really where the uh, uh, exciting part comes in. As we look at the price point, so all of the segments here across the bottom, they are $25,000 increments of price points. Uh, the uh, line on the left where it says zero to 200, that's the amount of units, that's the number of properties uh, that we're discussing. The blue line is uh, the under contracts and the red line is the new listings. So if you recognize here, as you look through the different increments here of 25,000, in most cases, you're finding that there are more listings then there are buyers in each segment with the exception of a few. So for example, 250 uh, to 275, there's slightly more buyers in that population than there are new listings. And then 350 to 375, same story there. So this is a flip compared to what we've seen here historically over the first half of the, the year. For the most part, we've had more buyers than listings. This is how we know that there's a change happening. So again, the gaps are pretty small. This gap right here is about a difference of about 30 units, just for reference sake. But in almost every price point, you're seeing more new listings than there are buyers. But that gap, because our listing inventory is still pretty shallow, uh, in fact, uh, we've got um, 3,496 units totally for sale across residential farm uh, and all the different areas. That's that's still less than what we've historically seen, you know, if we go back five years. So it's still a very competitive market. The best market for you to do something in is the one that's right for you. So if you need to make a move, um, it is the right time for you. If you're questioning it, let's have a conversation. 
uh, look at the newsletter below, click on schedule an appointment. We'd be happy to have that conversation with you. In the meantime, if you do have any questions that specifically might be in relation to your situation and how this might impact you, feel free to shoot back a response to this email, this newsletter, and uh, we'd be happy to address that. All right. Everybody have a great June. I look forward to speaking with you next month as we look at the quarter in recap. And um, until then, take care.